In this video, we're going to take a look at absolute and relative referencing, what the difference is and how you can use it to be successful. So a, a relative reference is simply an unlocked cell. So when we do two times two in the row and the columns, you can see that we'll get four. But if we copy this over and do it in this cell instead, we actually will now have four times three, which is 12. But what we actually want to multiply is the two by the three. And so the way that you do that is by doing absolute referencing. So this should be six, not 12. So we'll delete that one. And we're going to change this formula. And I'm entering the formula editing panel by pressing F2. And now working within the formula, what we want to do is shift it so that this cell in B3 doesn't change when we drag it across. And so the way to do that is to lock it. And this is what absolute referencing is. So I pressed F4 here, and that's how you create absolute references. And you can see that there's a dollar sign in front of both the B and the three. Uh, and that means that both of those are going to be locked. And so that's okay. It will give us the correct answer here. If we go here, it should give us six. If we go here, it should give us eight and 10. But the problem is, when I'm trying to fill out this table, if I drag it down, now I have two times four. And that's not what I want. I want the three to come with it. And so the way to fix that is to go back into the cell and press F4 again. And you can see that now the dollar sign's only in front of the three. And so we're only locking that portion of it. But we really want to lock the column, not the row. So we want the dollar sign in front of the B. And that means now when I drag it down, the three has come with us. And if I fix this, because now I also want to change the C, um, and you can do F4 and you can also type dollar signs. But if we do this, then all we have to do is uh, change it so the dollar front sign is in front of the row. And this is actually going to allow us now to fill out our entire table. You can see the two and the three is six. And we can copy this formula into this entire table. And we've now completed the whole thing. And so the value is of this really is that you can do a lot um, of data crunching quickly without having to retype any formulas. Once you have the formula correct once, then you can just do it every time. You can see I just did it 50 times and it just took a couple seconds. And so you're really going to want to get a hang of this. And we're going to be doing a lot more of these types of uh, tutorial videos for Google Sheets, also for Excel, but I'm going to do a few Google Sheets videos right now. So make sure you sign up, subscribe.